Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss major losses and develop equations for major losses in both laminar and turbulent flow. So head loss. Head loss is um, equal to the summation of our major head losses and our minor head losses. So our major head losses, they're losses that are due to friction, so our viscous effects within our fluid. Um, therefore, our head losses for in the major component is going to be greater for our turbulent flow where we have greater viscous effects compared to our laminar flow where we'll have uh, smaller head losses in the major component. Um, we've also got head loss uh, minor and that's losses due to pipe components. So, for example, valves or elbows or sudden changes in the pipe diameter can lead us to having um, head loss um, and that's called the head loss minor. So the head loss is a summation of both of those components. Now a couple of videos ago we already came up with an equation for the head loss and that's equal to um, 4L um, shear stress of the wall gamma D. Um, but this only applies um, for the head loss due to friction and it also requires us to know this shear stress at the wall which we don't always know especially for uh, turbulent flows. So what we want to look at now is mainly uh, the major loss. We'll be looking at the, the minor loss um, in the next couple of videos. So major losses, um, we need to consider um, a rough pipe. So for, for, for um, our, sh our, our loss, losses due to laminar flow, uh, it doesn't matter the roughness of the pipe, it's completely independent of that. But we want to um, take into account both cases, so we're going to consider a rough pipe. 